Hey everyone, welcome back to Apollo Art Analysis. In today's episode, we're going to be studying a piece by the multidisciplinary artist known as Proxima Centauri B. And in today's episode, we're going to be looking at this unique mix of science fiction and fantasy. We're also going to explore the influences of nature and the broader natural world. So let's just jump right into it. So what if you foresee this work, your eye is likely to be drawn towards this lone sphere set in center space here. It is quite reminiscent of a water droplet. It is a pretty mystical introduction to this stunning scene. And of course, we have have the placement of this orb in center right. This is going to draw our eye even further within the work at hand. We see this further reinforced by the rare color right. Red is the rarest color within this composition, and the second most rare is going to be that blue. So it's going to draw our eye within the work and certainly catch our attention. Color is also very important in this composition, right? Like I said, you have blue and green, and then you have red upon that. Blue and green are going to be closest to each other, right? That analogous color scheme, and red is going to be that much more rare accent there. Of course, red isn't too important to the work at hand. It does provide a little bit more of, say, dynamic flowers within the work, but the main two colors that we're going to be focusing on are going to be blue and green within the work at hand. I think this is pretty important, right? This is inherent to nature as well, right? Green is going to be those lush leaves, those plants, and blue is going to be water, and of course, even the sky in a way as well. We also see quite a bit of saturation, right? Of course, you have color, and then you have the saturation or the intensity of that color. And so within this work, there is a lot of energy that's being created by the highly saturated colors, and I don't mean this in any bad way. It is absolutely beautiful, and it certainly catches the eye, this green and this blue absolutely brilliant and extremely saturated as well. Like I said, it gives an incredible sense of visual energy. With that in mind, I wanted to ask you guys, how do y'all feel when you view this composition or what's coming to mind when you're viewing this work? The setting of this work is obviously in nature, whether that is a lush jungle, a forest, or a swamp. It's hard to say for sure, but this is no doubt into the wild and untamed natural world. I think we certainly are standing within that. And to understand this work, you have to look at, say, science fiction and a a little bit of fantasy or naturalism, if you will. And when I say sci-fi, this is, of course, very advanced. This almost looks like another planet. And then what mixes with that is a sense of fantasy or the natural world and the natural fantasy that kind of mix and influence with what appears to be an alien planet here. And of course, like I said, our eye is drawn to this lone orb. It's hard to say exactly what this is, but it is quite reminiscent of a water droplet. Perhaps it is a home of some kind or another. It's hard to say for sure, but it certainly catches the eye as at least one of the main subjects nonetheless, perhaps the central subject of this composition. And of course, because this orb or this home is reminiscent of water or a large water droplet or a dew droplet, we do have to talk about the influence of water in the natural world. Water is the foundation, just like carbon in many different ways, to life itself, right? Water is so important. Of course, not everything in the world that lives requires water, but we certainly do as mammals, right? Water is our life source. And so when you look at a composition like that, you can really integrate that symbolism as well, right? This is the life source. Water is a life source for pretty much every living creature, although that is not explicitly true. We can certainly say a majority of life requires accessibility to and the use of water. I think that's pretty important here. So with that in mind, welcome to the source of life itself. It is absolutely sacred and truly beautiful as well. The original artist does deal with a lot of these different orbs. I actually have an additional work I'm going to bring in real quick. But just to end this segment, I want to ask you guys, what do you all see when you view this composition? Or what are some of the symbolism or the ideas that come to mind when you're viewing this work? So like I said, I have another piece real quick from the original artist Proxima Centauri B. I'm going to bring that in and see what we can learn here. All right, so I brought an additional work from the original artist Proxima Centauri B, and the reason I brought this in is because in both instances you have this orb. I'm seeing this more often in the original artist portfolio. Of course, this orb is quite crystalline in nature. It is quite reminiscent of the form of glass, and in both these works you do have that orb. It certainly catches the eye, and so the original artist does use this orb quite often, and although both these works aren't quite related to each other other than the orb, other than the you know natural setting, if you will, well, other than the mysticism of both these compositions, you know, other than that, they're not really connected in any set way. But I just want to bring that in real quick to show that the original the original artist likes to use these orbs in many different ways. They're quite dynamic. They certainly can add some beautiful form and even some symbolism to the work at hand. So yeah, I just want to bring that in real quick to compare those kind of three elements real quick. 
So yeah, that's really all I have for today. But of course, to mention, we do see this influence of science fiction, nature, and fantasy within the work at hand. And the work before us is an AI generative artwork, so it's created with an AI art program. I believe the program used was Stable Diffusion. And then on top of that, we have some additional edits in Procreate. So this makes us a mixed media AI generative work and a very unique, beautiful, and symbolic one at that. I really hope you'll enjoy today. We talked about so many different things from this lush, you know, natural color palette. We talked about how this central orb reminds of a water or a dew droplet, perhaps being a home as well. We talked about the natural world. We talked about the nativity of water and lush green life within nature itself. We talked about the influences of science fiction, fantasy, and yes, of course, nature. Once again, really hope you'll enjoy today. If y'all enjoyed, go check out the original artist Proxima Centauri B. My name's Apollo. This was Apollo Art Analysis, and I'll see y'all on the next episode. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you'd like to support our work directly, please check out our Apollo community tokens. Apollo Art Exchange is an ecosystem of art appreciation which elevates artists each and every day. Thanks for listening.